Hello and welcome back to Numis Max with Kenny. Today's video will discuss some of my Numis Max book purchases at this year's 2017 A&A Summer Seminar. Before I share my purchases with you, I thought you might be interested in learning about the book sale that the A&A Numis Max Library conducts each week of the two seminar weeks. In addition to the great courses, the book sales are one of the most looked forward to events each week at the Summer Seminar every year. All proceeds raised by the book sales are used by the library for future purchases. The a, a Library holds one of the most complete collections of numismatic books in the United States and the world. All a, a members have access to the library, which is one huge benefit of being an a, a member. Each week, an opening ceremony takes place discussing the week ahead. During the opening ceremony, Mr. David Sklo, library manager of the a and an all-around nice person, reviews the book sale rules. a and attendees receive a lottery number card. The cards each have a number noted and are handed out randomly. The lowest number you receive, the better as... Uh, you will be one of the first led into the book sale room. The lottery card lowest number you can receive is the number two, and everyone is lined up in numerical order to go into the sale. The number one lottery card is very special. During the open, don't opening ceremony, David auctions off a very special numismatic book. The winner not only receives a special book, but gets to be the first to go into the book sale room by themselves for five minutes. The bidding is hectic and a lot of fun to watch. Many in the audience are happy to bid the price high as the proceeds go to the library. It's not unusual for the special book to have a retail value of over $1,000. This year, during the second week, my father surprised me and began bidding. He told me later that he wanted to reward me for working hard at school this past year. My dad won and I had five minutes in the book sale room all by myself. I was surprised how long five minutes felt, and it was great to find some special books during that time. Mr. David Sklo does a great job in sorting out separate sections for world, U.S., precious metals, resource books, auction catalogs, and a lot more, making it, e making it a lot easier to find books that you want. The books in other numismatic literature date back decades, and some even centuries. Here's the special book that my father won for me. It's a 2008 uh, leather-bound edition red book, but the in most interesting thing about this book is that it's an error. In 2007, the Numismag Literary Guild, or the NLG, had like a conference convention called the Numismag Literary Guild Bash on uh, August 9th, 2007 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and they were supposed to print this on the back on regular edition red books, not on these special leather edition books. So only 135 of these are known or were made uh, because it was an error and they stopped making it after. And uh, as you notice, it's just, it's really a uh, leather red book with this right, with the uh, text right here. And he, uh, you can see the nice gold gilt right there. It's a very nice book. I'm, I'm trying not to take it out of this uh, casing that it has. It's a little thing because I don't want it to uh, get damaged. But, and here's my VIP admission number one ticket that I won during the book sale. Uh, this was actually from the special 50th anniversary of the a and headquarters from 1967 to 2017. It shows the original building before they added the uh, second level on top, which is interesting. Here are some of the best books that I had purchased at the uh, a and library book sale this year. The first one we have is the Dr. Thane B. Price Collection. Uh, from May 19th, 1998. Inside, unfortunately this fell out, but I'm just keeping it in there. It's a, uh, I guess like a certificate of authenticity. It's number 118 and 250. Signed by Price, David Akers, and Thomas Mulvaney. Who, uh, 
worked with the collection. And it just gives some information about Price himself. And then goes through the coins of in the sale with uh, very nice descriptions, I must say. From gold to silver. With some really incredible photos. That's a very nice one. Then we also have United States Gold Patterns by David Akers. Let's see. This one uh, talks about, like it says, gold patterns. And like up here has the 1860 double eagle, $20 piece. So it has a pattern of this. And it gives all the specifications. So this was the paquet reverse. And it gives it all information about, you know, the history of that piece and of many more. It's also a very nice resource uh, for anyone who collects gold pieces. And also, Mr. David prices the books very reasonably, which is another reason why almost everyone in attendance participates in the book sale. Unsold books the first night are reduced in price even more over the next two days. So the next book that I have is, this one's a pretty big one. It's Miscellaneous Senate Documents from 1893 to 1894 about the Berlin Silver Commission. So this one is, you can even see on the bottom, writing Berlin Silver Commission. I guess someone had it sitting in their library like this. And uh, they just, so they use the side, but... This is a huge book. And I actually read through some of it. It's actually pretty interesting about the Berlin Silver Commission. I still have to read a little bit more. But uh, as you see, there's a lot of text. <laughs> so this is quite a long read. It's over 1,500 pages. <laughs> but uh, as you see, this is they're really interesting, though. I mean, just having the book for a future reference, it's really helpful. Next, I have Coin Collector by W. Carew Hazlitt. From uh, 1905. You can just see from this uh, title page how the age of the book. Just how detailed it is, and and it's neat because it tells about like you know the continent of Europe. This is about everything from world, American, Greek. There's uh, unique or remarkable coins from like, the uh, 1688 silver 60 shilling piece of James the Seventh. It just goes through detail of some of the really interesting pieces. And it talks about collectors and their collections. I, I, I haven't gotten to look at this one, but I see that it's actually also very interesting. And the next book, I love this author, A.M. Smith. Last year I got, I think, a couple books by him. And uh, this is another edition of one of the books I got last year. It's really interesting. It's let's see, it's uh, it was in the A and A library. You see, it's purchased in 1946. It's uh, Encyclopedia of Gold and Silver Coins of the World by A. M. Smith, and uh, should be yeah, 1886. Printed in. Philadelphia has all this writing in the inside cover, you know, acquired 1937, uh, 1946, another 1937. I'm trying not to, uh, open up the book too much because, you know, it's, uh, pretty old and my other book is starting to sort of fall off the cover, so I'm trying to figure out a way to store it on a shelf and not have it <laughs> fall off because they're really nice. I mean, 
the photo, uh, the drawings, I should say, really show the age, and it goes through values, you know, these Prussian pieces right here. You know, 53 cents. <laughs> For coin now worth $500 plus. It's really interesting how the prices have changed over the years. Next, we have a 1900 Director of the Mint Treasury Report. They have a lot of these. Last year I got one from 1899. This year I got this one from 1900. Uh, and a one from 1903, but I'll only show you this one because they're pretty much the same. It just goes through uh, just information from the mint of how many coins they printed or minted, I should say. Uh, the, these are the, cur the currency exchanges from around the world. And then they have, you know. These coins were made. These coins were mil were melted. They have a lot of these from a lot of different years. But this year I only got you know nineteen or three and nineteen hundred, like I said. But uh, these are quite popular. Next, I have volume 13, 14, and fifteen of the of Bankers Magazine from around eighteen sixty two to eighteen sixty five. The, these books range from and they're what they say they are they're like a collection of different magazine articles that they have in the bankers magazine from the 1860s and it goes through you see gold and silver of domestic production you know, here's the bankers magazine the cover page of the March 1864 edition, volume 13, like, like this one is. This is number 9. And these are just interesting. And they, I love the way that they look. Just their covers from the 1860s. They're just, you know, really good looking. <laughs> and this is the same kind. This is a banker's magazine, but it's from 1847 to 1848. And you can clearly see that just from the front cover. Pretty old history right there. And finally, I have two different Louis E. Eliasberg Sr. collection auction catalogs. Uh, one from April 6th to 8th, 1997, and one from May 20th to 22nd, 1996, both in New York City, put on by Bowers and Morena, Incorporated. So these uh, are our auction catalogs of the Eliasburg sale. Sales, I should say. And it has more lovely descriptions of you know, really just amazing coins that you really wouldn't think were even out there. <laughs> You're looking at the 1997 edition right here. The memorable 1877cc half dollar. Gem mint state among the finest known. And it goes on to describe it. Here's the 1996 one. Flipped it right to a, a Gobrecht dollar. And to other, like here, this, I guess, Nias Gobrecht 1838 half dollar. Perched eagle on the reverse. And it just goes through, you know, gem 1921D. Mercury Dines, the, the coins that he has in this collection are just incredible, and you really, you really wonder how he got them. But uh, these are some of my best books. I got a whole bunch more over here, <laughs> as you can see. A lot of red books. Some signed by uh, R.S. Yeoman. 
the original editor. Some of these down here are signed. I know the 1977 one is. And just really interesting books. I would encourage anyone to come out to the ANA Summer Seminar. I mean, aside from the book sale, which is great, it's just a great experience overall. You get to learn so much, and uh, it's just a great time to be with people who share your hobby. Uh, thank you for viewing my video, and please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos, <laughs> too, and share them on any social media outlet you belong to. I also have a link to the ANA website, money.org, in the description section below. So, uh, yeah, thank you, and see you next time.